Hi, I'm Jim Pence and welcome to See the Lights, the Joy of Art. This month we're going to learn how to launch rockets. Not real rockets, but we're going to learn how to draw rockets launching. And uh, one of the cool things is that if you learn how to do this in blacklight uh, chalk and in regular chalk, then uh, you can actually create the effect of a rocket uh, launching. You can draw the rocket on the uh, launch pad in uh, regular chalk and then if you draw a hidden picture with black light chalk you can show the rock launching into the sky. So that's going to be our focus um, this month. Today I'm going to just show you how to draw the fire. Uh, if you've ever watched a, a video of a night launch uh, you know that it's very dark but then when that rocket launches uh, you have a lot of beautiful billowing uh, smoke and, and bright fire and bright colors. So that's why we're going to focus more on drawing uh, the idea of a night launch because uh, it just it's a lot more dramatic. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, take our black chalk and I'm going to tone the paper. I'm going to use black chalk and I've got an eraser here as well. I'm going to clean my eraser off just briefly. Get the excess chalk off of it and then I'm going to tone the paper black. Now if you have black construction paper then you don't really need to tone the paper. Or if you have black pastel paper you don't need to tone the paper. But I'm working on gray bogus paper and so I want it to be darker than that so I will have a nighttime effect. So I start out with just a, a light coat of black. I use the eraser because it enables me to get a much better coverage when I'm toning the paper. Um, you know, if I just use my hand, you see the difference up there? I leave a lot of little uh, blotches. I don't want those blotches, so I'm going to use a circular motion, sometimes sideways. I'm just going to come in and get this nice and dark. i come over it one more time. And the main thing when you're toning the paper, you don't want to leave a thick layer of chalk, uh, because then what you're laying down next is going to tend to mix with it. So I don't want this to be real thick, but I do want a, a good coverage. I'm going to come in one more time, just a little bit more. And again, we'll use my eraser so that I've got a nice black surface. Just about done there. Okay, and uh, that should do it. As I've mentioned before, I always keep baby wipes on hand to clean my hands in between colors. You can do this with a damp rag. I like baby baby wipes because I can just throw them away when I'm done. don't need to worry about washing them. Okay, so I've got my, my toned area. Now, when, you, when you're going to draw fire, first of all, it's very much like drawing, uh, and not so much fire, but I'm, I'm thinking more of the smoke. Uh, first of all, it's, it's very much like drawing clouds, pretty much the same principle. But what we want to keep in mind is that you know you're not going to just come in and start drawing lots of white because white is going to be way way too bright for this. Also, when a rocket is launching, you have to think of the smoke reflecting. Uh, the colors that are being generated by the fire. Uh, so what we want to do is let's pretend that our rocket, I'm just going to draw a real simple rocket here right now. And you know, yeah it looks funny but that's okay. Alright. Okay, there's there, there's my rocket. Not great, but it'll, it'll get the job done. Okay. Um, the, the light and the color is going to be mo most intense here because that's the source of the fire. The further away you get, it's almost going to be, you know, we're going to treat it almost like you would a sunset, uh, the farther away from the source, uh, the uh, dimmer and redder uh, and darker the colors are going to be. So, I actually, when I do this, tend to work backwards. I'm going to start out with a, a charcoal gray and you can see that, that charcoal gray shows up, but it's not nearly as stark 
as uh, the white chalk was. So uh, think again, think we've got you know, all this thrust coming down here from the rocket. Okay, uh, that is coming down, and if we've got the ground here, then everything is hitting and it's going to go out. So our smoke is going to tend to billow off to the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just like I would if I were drawing clouds. I'm just making some circular motions. And I'm going to use my fingers now. Sometimes, you know, when I when I work with chalk, uh, I really get dirty hands, and that's because when I'm working on a great big easel and have to cover a lot of area quickly, then uh, I don't just use a finger. I, I use my whole hand and get my whole hand into it. Okay, now I'm going to do just very similar to again what I do with a cloud is I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to do some highlights. We're going to begin to bring in some other color. Now, one thing that you, you want to remember is that uh, you're going to highlight based on the source of the light. So, in this case, the source of the light is going to be in between these two big sets of billows uh, of smoke. So, that means we're going to highlight here and here and here, almost in a, in a V pattern. Uh, because that's where the light is coming from. Uh, it wouldn't look right if I were to come over here. Let me soften this out a little bit. It wouldn't look right if I were to come over here and then you know, try to highlight out here. Well, that's fine, but unless there's a light source from here, uh, that doesn't make much sense. So we don't really want to do that. We'll take that back out. Now, uh, maybe if there were some great big buildings back here, that, that would work. I'm going to come in now. I, I had already drawn the uh, uh, the charcoal gray. I'm coming in now with a lighter gray, and this is just a, a regular gray. And I'm going to just hit the edges of the clouds. I don't have to do every single one. Okay, and again, I'm going to use my finger, I'm going to soften that a bit. And Okay, so we've already got some, some good smoke here. We want to add a little bit of drama, a little bit of excitement to it. So we're going to... to you give more of a fiery feel. Um, here's a kind of a scarlet red. I don't want to use a whole lot of this, but I am going to to hit some of the clouds that are farthest away with a little bit of this red. Doing the same thing, kind of highlighting in a V pattern. Now, when I do this with blacklight chalk, it is awesome. Uh, but it's good to practice. One of the things about blacklight chalk is it is very expensive and you can practice almost any blacklight technique with regular chalk on a uh, black surface. So uh, you can save a lot of money practicing blacklight technique with just regular chalk. Okay, I put in a little bit of red there. Now I have a color that's called dark red orange. That's what that looks like. I'm going to build on that. Uh, and, and in your pastels, you're not going to have quite the same s s color set, probably, as you would if you're working with lecturer's chalk, like I am. But there are enough colors that will come close to this. Okay, so now, see, I'm getting closer to the rocket, so I am adding in a little bit more intensity in the color. Maybe this 
Tuesday. Right. Just hit that lightly. Okay. Um, actually, I've kind of ignored that over there. Let's give it just a, a little blast of color. Not a lot. Okay, now I have another color. This one is called light red orange. So I'm going to hit right here even a little bit closer with the light red orange. I'm not going to smooth some of these brighter highlights in so much. I'm going to allow those to show the brightness a little bit more. Okay, now I have yellow orange. Okay, now we're getting up even closer. And again, I'm hitting the edges in of, uh, of these billows of smoke. Okay, I'm going to hit just a, a little bit on the outer edges. Not too much in this area down here because this is farther removed from the rocket and presumably these clouds up here are blocking uh, that so a lot of that brighter light is not getting through down there. So that's why I don't put so much there. Okay, and then bright yellow. And the bright yellow is going to come right here. Just like this. Alright, so there you have it. Uh, that's how to draw a the aftermath of a rocket launch. Um, I'll show you a little bit more next week about you know, how we might want to finish that rocket out and uh, how we would draw the fire to make it look uh, you know, realis uh, realistic, uh, at least realistic in, in the sense that we're, you know, this is kind of cartoonish, but you still want it to look right. So we'll, we'll work on that next week. Uh, this week, just practice drawing some fire, uh, some billows of smoke, and uh, then we'll add in the rocket next time. Thanks for watching. I uh, look forward to seeing you next Tuesday on The Joy of Art.